I'm very excited to show you our new interactive HVAC simulator. We have partnered with uh, Del Mar Online Training and they are now providing our textbooks and when you purchase your textbook uh, for the HVAC certification course you also get two years access to the online HVAC simulation and as part of this course you are going to have to com successfully complete many of these simulations with a uh, passing score and there's a couple of different ones that you're going to be tasked with heat pump commercial AC soft skills split residential and our gas furnace oil furnace and boilers are going to be additional courses later on but right now let's just take a look at the split residential AC now I highly recommend you read the intro slides I was uh, I didn't the first time and it's somewhat difficult to understand how to navigate through so it's worth a few minutes to to read that um, each one of the different interactive exercises has a printable wiring diagram that you can look at as well as a printable troubleshooting chart that you can download and print out to help you along the way we have the training mode over here which where you can go practice and you can take a look at the a faulty compressor capacitor and see how the system um, reacts to that and then later on in the course you're going to be tasked with doing for example three beginner challenges later on three intermediate challenges and several advanced challenges then it'll give your um, star rating here as to how well you performed and we're looking for five stars so let's just do a training mode right now and let's look at the faulty condenser fan so once you selected that you hit play now when you start out it shows you your cell phone with your service dispatch page all of your customers information is located on your your dispatch page and this is very similar to what you're going to be uh, paged on your cell phone or your mobile device from your dispatch when you're working out in the field so when you're ready to go and you've read everything you click start and here you are in front of your van and in front of the garage now to walk in you use your arrow keys similar to the old style interactive games and you can move around use your mouse wheel to zoom to zoom in and out if you want to pull off the cover you just click here's our service switch here that you can turn on and off and then when you want to back out of the um, zoom mode you click the X button it backs you out and then look over here you even have a broom to sweep up when you're completed there's your circuit breaker panel again you use your arrow keys and then navigate into the home and then you look around for the thermostat there it is you click put the system into the cooling mode you can see that it sit at 60 degrees Fahrenheit and this indicates that it's blowing hot air out of the register so it doesn't appear to be cooling again arrow keys to move and you can hear I don't know if you can hear this on the screencast but you can hear the fan blowing in the the air handler and you walk outside and there's our condensing unit you click on the condensing unit and you can zoom in just a bit use your mouse wheel if you uh, use your left mouse button you can you can pan around and take a look at what's going on here with this system and there's our disconnect up here you can turn it off if you want to turn the power off you don't want to try and replace anything with the power on and you can you can hear it humming just a bit click on your service panel 
and let's see what's going on here with the voltage. So our tool menu is over here and here is our digital meter. You can select volts AC and that humming you hear is the unit itself. Scroll around, click, click your probe and now it shows you where you can do your voltage measurements. So let's see if we have power coming in. Ah, it shows we have 240 volts. Click on that again. We have 240 volts coming into the unit so it appears that we have power. If you want to get rid of your voltmeter you just turn it off. Click your X button to back out. So let's take a look at the system. Turn off the disconnect. Let's open up the top. And I'm thinking we have a bad condenser fan motor, which we already know. And you're going to double click on that and it's going to, you're going to hit replace. It tells you how much it's going to cost the customer. Do you, are you sure you want to do it? and you have replaced the condenser fan motor. So let's see what's happening. We'll close everything up. And now we see the condenser is blowing hot air out of the top as it should. Now you use your arrow keys to navigate back into the home. Now you've just done your sweeping, cleaning up after yourself. Now we see we have cool air blowing out of the register. So we're now complete with our job. Now you gotta you need to even make sure you close the door for the customer just like you might if they weren't in a real situation and they weren't home. And there's your vehicle and you're ready to go home or to your next call. So when you're completed, you hit the end button, end your simulation. And you will now get a feedback report on your each attempt. And it's going to show you how long it took you, what your service ticket was, did you fix the equipment, and was your service area clean, and so forth. So this is just a brief overview. I'm very excited to be able to uh, have this available for you to practice your air conditioning skills. So this will be available in our next class that will start November the second, uh, the first Tuesday of November 2013 and there they're on. Any questions, comments about how this all works, our HVAC training, please give me a call or email at ron at hvactrainingsolutions.net.